Oh my god, Wednesday starts with We Christmas. got a big, big house with, with lots and lots of food. A oh. big, big table. It's been a while since I've seen with this. With lots and lots of rooms. Food. A big, big table. With, with lots, lots and lots, lots of food. A big, big yard where we can play football. football. A big, big house. It's That's my, my father's, father's house. house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so our friends joining live after that, that aren't watching the replay, might have to go back and watch the beginning of the replay to hear our beautiful rendition of It's a Big Big House. <laughs> and you may be having some flashbacks to youth group right now. The Great yeah. Escape. I'm trying to remember what year that was. I don't know, every youth group. No, this was like a summer program thing. Mm. That was the first time I ever sang it. Freddie Langston, Todd Fields, The Great mm. Escape. It was like 1990. And you have my good shepherd friends on here from the high school, middle school. That was middle school youth group. Help me yeah. out in the year. Okay. And if you didn't grow up in church and you just heard that, you're thinking, you Christians are weird. We it's are. true. We are. We are. It's um, okay. So we own it. <laughs> we, we totally own it. Um, so, so I made it sound all fancy that this 2017 yes. vintage. Vintage. Of but a cheap wine. It's nine ninety nine. I mean, not it's cheap ish. Um, but you know, if you're gonna have a house wine, you might as well have a house wine that's called house wine. I mean, why not? Um, <laughs> and so I was looking for something that was fairly versatile. Um, so today, what is today? July twenty ninth. Um, <clears throat> so I was looking for something versatile because today is National Wing Day. So we're doing buffalo wings. Um, we are. Well, we're and doing, doing wings. wings. We're doing wings. Um, <laughs> like surprise. We're doing wings for dinner um, because it's National Wing Day. I found out from one of my um, social media friends, and I learned at the um, at the wine store that it's also National Lasagna Day today. Oh. So I know. Major fail. On How do you make a decision between wings? And I mean, the decision is easy for her, but. How do you make the decision between wings and lasagna? No, no, see, tonight I go with wings because I don't have the stuff to make lasagna. Okay, well, this is a practical thing, but assuming okay. you have everything at your disposal, oh, what would you what would you do? Okay, vote wings yeah. or lasagna. Wings we or lasagna. And, and also I tell us what you're drinking. Like, write in the comment section what you're drinking. Um, also, are you a wings? Or lasagna. I know those sound like two separately different things, but apparently today we're covering them both because that's what we do. Um, that's what we do. And we're, so I'm is, cheating because we're in two different glasses. And the what the wine glass can make the difference. Um, it is. So, so we and, might have to like try a sip and then switch. Mm, to be fair, we would use the same glasses, only we've broken a lot. So let me give you a few deets on this, um, in this um, on this wine. Um, so it is a, it doesn't really say what grapes are in it. It's a just called a American That's why I said vintage. <laughs> red wine blend, um, and it is produced in Walla Walla, Washington. But I think there's like, like Walla Walla is kind of in three different states. Um, Everybody else technically. Hear that? Walla Walla, Bing Bang. All the songs tonight, y'all. Welcome to All my life. Songs. She just breaks out in song. It's awesome. Hey, Big Big House was your idea. Big Big, well, it's, it makes, it aligns with the wine. It says, <laughs> so does our Mama. house, our house is your house. So does so. Bing Bing Mala Mala Bing Bing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, okay. so let's taste this. Yeah. Definitely not as great of a nose on it, um, but I think if you get a house wine anywhere, you're not like your expectations are kind of kind of. Eh, so you know? well, especially because this was bottled in Walla Walla, way, but they, it was not grown in Walla Walla. This is an American red wine blend, which means yeah. anywhere from America, whatever red grapes they had could go into this wine. It could have come from a white. They could have come from Alabama. For you know, all we know, South Dakota. We've had South Dakota. We've wine. had South Dakota wine. There actually is a decent winery or two in South Dakota. Mm -hmm. If you're fact. heading that way, give us a shot. We'll recommend them. Okay. So, 
Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't rank this based on the nose at all. Like, it just smells like, hey, that's a cheap red wine. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> nobody, by the way, if you're watching this, nobody paid us to, Clearly. to do these reviews. <laughs> Clearly. But if you like, want to pay cheap. us. We'll be fair and honest. We'll be fair and honest. Okay. And we probably will give you a few bonus points for paying for the review. That's I mean, people <laughs> do like, it all whatever. the time. Okay. So, yeah, not much of it. Not much of it. So maybe we'll get a little bit more on the the tongue. Okay. So, bold, jammy, smooth. I jammy for sure. Um, bold and smooth are kind of two separate opposites. It's either it's relative. smooth. Well, no, you can or have a bold. smooth bold. I don't know if I'd really go with intense would be more than bold. I yeah. feel like I feel like it's like your so, standard California wine where they're go, where they put in just a whole. Now I like some California wine, so that doesn't sound yeah, good. But like we're not making fun what of you California. think of when you think of like a cheap California mm -hmm. wine when they just like take all the grapes possible and just make it like. It, the just, it like wash. overtakes your mouth. Like there's mm -hmm. no nuance to it. There's no, if you don't like most red wines, you're not going to like this. No, there's a wine in Colorado <laughs> that just... like we like, or at least I like, um, they, they'll like take all their leftover grapes and then just, just mm -hmm. like shove it into one. And there's a couple of wineries that kind of do this. It's like they're, we ran out of like we ran out of bottles, so we just kind of mixed everything together into this. Um, so, uh, bookless Friday yes. Follies is That's one delicious. of those, and it's, it's very, very delicious. It, but it's very different. This is like this definitely was not created for the discerning wine palate, or for food pairing even. I think this was created to be an inexpensive red wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a if, party wine. And if that's your expectation, I mean, if you wanted to bring party wine. if you want to bring something to a party, this is definitely something to bring to a party. It's great. You're you're gonna get, you know, you're not gonna get exceptional reviews from your guests, but you're not gonna spend a lot on wine, and they're gonna like it. So, yeah, I mean, just, I like it. I would it's give not this. It's bad. I mean, I drink it. Okay, so let's oh, let's let's do the switch on the glasses. Okay. Let's see if this makes a difference. Does this make a difference? It's a fun experiment to do. We should do mm -hmm. that one night. Let's do the same wine yeah. in like four different glasses. We also need to buy some more Regal glasses. <laughs> That's why we don't have matching glasses. But these are nicer than the cheap wine tasting ones we got last week. Mm-hmm. It is different. Yeah. It's better in this one. The jammy, it's definitely better in It's better. One. The smoothness comes out in this one. And that one, it just mm -hmm. overtakes your mouth. Yeah. See? Isn't that crazy? You should now do we're this gonna fight over this glass. You should do you should do this experiment yourself. Like, get a, like a regular wine glass, get one of these, get something that's designed for the glass, and then put it in a coffee cup and see how like see how the taste change. It's the Dead reason my grandmother thinks that all wine tastes the same. She drinks it out of her coffee cup. Not even kidding. And she drinks Franzia. Well, that's because she <laughs> thinks all wine tastes the same. Like, we we might have to review Franzia just to make fun. No, <laughs> no Franzia. I already know what I'll give that. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely better in here. Mm -hmm. I will rate it differently in this glass than I would in that glass. That's how yeah. extreme the difference is. Like this, I'd be like, oh, it's not that bad for a $10 wine. That one, I'm like, mm, that's a cheap, cheap old wine. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And yeah. these are both like Riedel glasses. This one is just your standard red blend glass, and this is actually supposed to be a cap glass. So... Um, yeah, in this glass I would give it about three and a half, and that glass I would give it about three point eight on the on the five W scale. Okay. I was gonna say I'd probably give it a three and a half to a four in this one, mm -hmm. but in that one I'd only give it like a two to a three. All right. So. So there you have. But it. I guess I should give a solid number. Tell us you what do. you're drinking. Um, we'd love to we'd love to hear about what your like what your wine tastes are and what you're drinking. Um, so house wine, about an average of 3.6 out of 5 W's. And about an average. Of about an average. Ish. It's, it's ish. Um, 
we may or may no. not be professionals, not at wine drinking. Um, not at wine drinking? Or wine tasting. I'm like, sure, no. we're professional wine tasters. No, we're not. If you, you want to pay us, for it. right, that's the definition of professional. Right. So anyways, we're have regular. a wonderful day. Um, look forward to your comments and see you next week. Cheers, friends.